Finally, I wanted to know whether there were any particular reasons, apart from being constantly asked by people like myself, why Stephen felt it necessary to address himself to the topic of religion more than many of his colleagues did. Oh, I try not to do it too much. You know, I don't want to become the village atheist, uh, and I do get involved in a lot of other issues like missile defense and uh, uh, neo, well, post-constructionism, neo-modernism. But um, I do spend probably a little bit more time than I should on on religion, and uh, I have a certain amount of hostility to uh, to it. Uh, I think the most rational reason for it is because of the harm that I see it does. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, many people do simply awful things out of sincere religious belief, not using religion as a cover, uh, the way Saddam Hussein may have done, but really because they believe that this is what God wants them to do. Going all the way back to Abraham being willing to sacrifice Isaac, <laughs> because God told him to do that. Putting God ahead of humanity is a terrible thing. Yeah. Um, another reason is because I'm offended by the kind of smarmy religiosity that's all around us, perhaps more in America than in, than in Europe, uh, and not really that harmful, because not really that intense or even that serious, but just you know, after a while, you get tired of hearing clergymen in giving the invocation at various public celebrations, and you feel, haven't we outgrown all this? Do we have to listen to this? Yeah. Uh, but then, maybe at the very bottom of it, I really don't like God. You know, I mean, it's silly to say I don't like God because I don't believe in God, but mm. in the same sense that I don't like Iago or I don't like the Reverend Slope, or, or any of the other villains of literature. The god of traditional Judaism and Christianity and Islam seems to me a terrible character. He's a god who will, who's obsessed with the degree to which people worship him and anxious to punish with the most awful torments those who don't worship him in the right way. Now, I realize that many people don't believe in that anymore who call themselves Muslims or Jews or Christians, but that is the traditional mm. God, and he's a terrible character. I don't like him. Um, I have a friend, or had a friend, now dead, Abdus Salam, a very devout Muslim who was trying to bring science into the universities in the Gulf states. And he, he told me that he had a terrible time because um, although they were very receptive to technology, they felt that science would be a corrosive to religious belief. And they were worried about it. And damn it, I think they were right. It is corrosive of religious belief. And it's a good thing, too. That's terrific. <laughs> <laughs>